welcome, welcome, boys. I'm hoping somebody who knows something about these here dash cams, possibly Panzer Platform or WJ Handy Dad, can uh, give me some pointers here, because I'm not sure if this is a bug or a feature or if something I did wrong is wrong. So we're going to start here. This is a three channel dash cam. Here is the third channel, the little reverse light camera. So it's constantly sending a feed right now, and you're not going to be able to see much because I've already loomed up the wire, but I didn't know this was a thing until I started doing this. So we have the wire loomed up, but up here as you can see, there there's a break and open in it, and there's this red wire. So I have this red wire running up into the reverse light so when the reverse light comes on the way I understand that is it's supposed to assist in backing up so I believe it's what is allowing these little lights to illuminate and make it brighter so there's that and that's all fine and dandy but the weird thing I have going on here is So it, show, it displays three images, and it's currently recording, and my camera just does not want to focus on the screen. I'm not sure what it's trying to focus on. So this may be an issue. There we go. Okay. So it's recording right now, as you see. So when I hit the brakes to shift out of park and into reverse, that's what's going to be happening. Why does this do this? I've hit the brake. It saves the video. And then starts recording again. Now I'm going to let off the brake because I'm still holding it. It saves that. And starts recording another file. So now imagine every time I'm hitting the brakes here. It keeps doing that. So now the car is in reverse. I have these wheels chalked, so this shouldn't roll back into my car. <clears throat> we are leaving it unattended. So as we see, we have the reverse light on. The camera has these little lights. And then that reverse light is on. So I'm assuming the reason those lights come on is because it goes in reverse to assist in backing up. I'm assuming that's what that red wire is for. But I'm not sure what this whole brake light thing is. How come when I hit the brakes, it saves a, a, a file? <clears throat> is this, do you think that has something to do with the way these reverse lights are? Because there's um Up in here is actually the... Um, brake light and the turn light. Uh, let me see if I can find something to jam on this brake pedal and show you. Okay, hopefully our trusty uh, sledge is holding the brakes enough. Okay, it is. So, you know, the brake lights are on. This camera is not going to pick up that they're red, but they are red. And I'm not back here, but I'm fairly certain pressing the brakes is not making my reverse lights any brighter. Now, it should be noted, when I did pull this reverse light out, it is dual filament for some reason. I feel like it shouldn't be. I don't know why it is. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Like, for some reason, does this light, having a dual filament, have something to do with when I hit the brakes, it's, it saves the, the, the file? I don't know. I don't know why that does that, but it's... <clears throat> not really a good thing. I feel like that's going to be nothing but bad. And so if I take my f sledgehammer off now. Okay, so it's not on there. I wonder what happens if I hit the hazards. Okay, it's still recording. Yeah, see, the hazards are essentially brake lights. Okay, boys, I'm going to take this time to insert some 
narration over this because I, I didn't I don't make it clear in the last part of this video. But I think this reverse light thing is a red herring. <clears throat> because even though the red light or the red wire is attached to the reverse lights, they are not the same bulb as the brake light. So the the camera should have no idea that I'm even hitting the brakes. Because that red wire, I hooked it into the positive side of the reverse light, which is the light below that brake light. The brake light is, is a dual filament as well, but I'm not wired to that. And again, I, I just think it's a red herring because the, the little camera's LEDs only come on whenever I put it in reverse. So that proves that red wire only goes to there. And... If I have the G sensor thing turned off, completely off, but the truck's not moving anyway; it's completely stationary, so it makes no sense why hitting the brakes would make this camera stop recording and start recording another file until I let off the brake. Like there shouldn't be any current from the from me hitting the brake going into the reverse. So I, I just I don't know, man. It completely baffles me. I just don't understand what these two things have to do with each other because that rear camera the wire is like a little 2.5 millimeter jack and it runs all the way from the camera <clears throat> under the body of the truck up through the pillar on the headliner and then plugs into the camera and then that little red wire that comes off of it goes straight into the reverse light and that only turns on when power is going to the reverse lights and it's I soldered it on to the the um, the positive side of the reverse light and I like I think that's just a red herring because even if I would have wired it to the negative side of the reverse light would that have made a difference I don't know it may or may not have energized it it probably would have but it still does not explain the brake light thing because those two bulbs are not connected to each other. There's only two bulbs in each of those taillight housings. The top one is a dual filament for the parking lights and then it gets brighter when you hit the brakes or the turn signal. And then the dual filament bulb down in the reverse light both illuminate when you throw it in reverse uh, I'm assuming to generate more light when you're backing up. So you can see better than if you only had a single filament bulb gives me a please format the card. Yeah, you can only do this so many times before it starts messing up. I can't imagine why. Alright, um, help if you know how to help. And if you don't know how to help, send help. And I guess one more thing before we sign off. <clears throat> so, because I did check. The 11, or the, it's a 3157 dual filament bulb that's in the reverse light and <clears throat> the turn signal, which makes sense in here because when you have the parking lights on, one filament's illuminated. When you hit the brakes or turn signals, then it illuminates the other. Okay, cool. I'm guessing they use the same bulb with dual filaments, so when you put it in reverse, they're both illuminated to <clears throat> give you more light to back up. <clears throat> That's fine. But I, I've overlooked something critically because <clears throat> I'm, I'm concentrated on the fact that I ran the red wire up to this reverse light but <clears throat> that isn't really a problem because when I put it in reverse that camera light is coming on the issue is when I hit the brakes the camera is stopping and starting recording now that would make sense if it's the G sensor doing a thing right <clears throat> but the truck was stationary why is it stopping and starting recording when I hit and release the brakes on a stationary vehicle and I have the G-Sensor thing set to off anyway? So it's not sensing G... It's somehow the dash camera is sensing I'm hitting the brakes. But that makes no sense because I wired it to the reverse light. And you can see that because that camera light comes on only when it goes in reverse, not when I hit the brakes. I don't know, man. If WJ Handy Dad or Panzer Platform or anybody who knows anything about these <clears throat> weird three-channel dash cams and 
why this would be a thing, let me know, because I've never had this problem, but I've also only had front-facing cameras, or in the case of the Crown Vic, a front-facing and rear-facing, but that's just because I took another front-facing and put it in the rear and made it face backwards. And that's, that's switched anyway and, and blah, 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 but I don't understand why this is doing this. It, it makes no sense to me. So, I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Or if you know someone who can figure this out, uh, send them this video and have them figure it out and let me know or something. Because <clears throat> um, I'm completely stumped as how the camera would have any idea I'm hitting the brakes anyway. <clears throat> because that wire, the red one goes straight up there and then where the connector is, it's like a little five, like, teeny tiny pins <clears throat> that run all the way through the truck and then into the camera. So, I don't know. If you can figure something out, let me know, and then if not, I guess I'm going to either have to sever that wire and see if that helps, or just disconnect the reverse camera, or, the, you know, the, the, that camera altogether. <clears throat> and then maybe only plug it in if I plan on backing up. I, I don't know. I, f I feel like I shouldn't have to do that, but I, I, I'm completely stumped on this. So, yeah. Help, boys. Help, help, send help. <laughs>